today's episode of Moto Cheese. Maybe you can hire the M Team. The following movie is rated I. I got it, boys. 1991 Daihatsu Atari Double X Turbo. Welcome the new microvan to the mini family. Going to pick up the microvan. Thanks yep. again, Jeffro. No problem. A few moments later. That one, right? Yeah, that's mine. Right? Yeah, it's got the different cap. Yeah, that's mine. Hey, what's up? Good, making sure the tire's got enough air. Might as well check them all. You didn't polish it up for me. <laughs> Take it back to the inspection. Uh, how many do you have to do? I just did three. Holy like, cow. Last week and then the inspection. Even for like little things, you'd be like, nope. They pick everything apart. Gotta come back. I knew they were going to say the gas cap too. And I'm like, yeah, man, I said yeah. that like weeks ago to yeah, get the I gas know, cap. I, I love this thing. Yeah. Had to take this like I think three times. And then he said they did the gas cap. I said yeah. I knew it. I said I told you guys three weeks yeah, ago. The pod number that you gave us. That didn't work. That worked. Oh, it did. Those, yeah. Yeah, because I called uh, G and R Imports, oh, yeah, and then they didn't have one in stock, so I ordered one from China. But he says this will work. And they gave me the number. I was like, yeah, thanks. I got the original one. I got a black one with the lock on it. I told him, I said, you didn't wash it and buff it out for me? <laughs> got my plates. Thank it's you. Finally. Moto cheese. Moto cheese. <laughs> What are you gonna kill him? Look at this. You have the screwdriver pointed at him. Oh, that's good. That's good. He made me go to DMV four times. <laughs> oh, thanks for letting me out. Turbo! Oh, burning the tires. Got a thumbs up. Micro truck. I mean, micro van. It runs a little rough. I'm gonna have to go through it for sure. I bet you this has like awesome fuel mileage though. Seats are comfy. Oh yeah, I forgot it's got a turbo timer. This thing should get really good mileage with a five speed. Pulls these hills easy now with these little tires. Wonder what that fan there does. Huh? Pulling this hill in fifth gear. I'm impressed. Takes a little more to heat up the cab for sure. Got to move that knob because it hits my leg. I just pop it off and put it up like that little stuff so oh this has a there I'm gonna reset it let's see what we get for mileage on this definitely has got to be better with a five speed with these little wheels on here boy I think zips right along I think I'm gonna put another Android radio like I did in mini 
This thing pulls pretty good in fifth gear. It's amazing. I'm going to do a complete walkthrough of every option on this thing. I looked online. I can't find really much of anything. I see videos of it, but there's no detail. Nobody ever goes over like the full details of the truck. Close-ups, switches. We'll check the plugs, distributor cap. We're gonna have to go over the whole thing. Change the oil, put it on my lift. Definitely gonna have to get a rear view mirror cam. This is a horn. <laughs> Look at that. That little tiny disc. The seat. This will be climbing back pretty good already. Very, very comfortable seats. Compared to the trucks, it's like night and day. Of course, we're gonna have to turn the boost up on this. You know that. A few more pounds, nothing crazy. Steering wheel's off like mini, but I, I think it's because of the camber on the roads. When I'm on a perfectly flat road, or if I drive dead center of that line, and it's, there isn't, it's like perfectly straight. It's gotta be the camber of the roads. And I got some wheels coming. Got a guy that watches my channel. Gave me a good deal on a set of four. Rims, tires, center caps, lugs. They're gonna be here Wednesday. They're 23s, so I don't have to lift it. Not sure if I want to really lift it much. I'm going to have to see. I'm going to have to drive it. Might end up doing just a 1-inch lift. I don't know. Or just go for the 2-inch. Go big or go home, right? Needs a good washing. I'm not going to paint it for a while until it warms up, so... Probably wash it and maybe even wax it. I'll just strip it when I have to paint it. Fuel injected three cylinder 660 cc intercooled turbo. 116,000 kilometers, so what's that? Like 70,000? Roughly. Definitely rides pretty nice. Still got little wheels though. You feel every pothole. Oh, they took everything out. There was something in there. You could definitely cruise this thing to Florida. I don't think the wife would like it, but keep a five gallon gas can in the back. Ah, pity the fool. Right hand drive life, mini stuff life. Loving that fifth gear, boys. Get me an old school push bumper on the front of this with a winch. I wonder if I could flat tow this. It doesn't show a neutral, but I bet you there's one in between there. Rips pretty good. I do think the mini truck's got a wee bit more power because this has little wheels on it. Once I put the bigger tires, then we'll see. So if I paint it like the A-team van, should it be the M-team or the C-team? Yeah, I never saw a little tiny button like that for a horn. <laughs> I have ADD, don't worry. I bet you I get about 35 miles a gallon with this thing, if I don't romp on it. Sure is quiet in the cab, isn't it? This is a 91. I thought they said it was a 93. And the seatbelt said 94, but it's an actual 91. Not that it matters when it's that old, right? Okay, you guys are not going to regret this. We're going to get so much more activities done. I was thinking behind the rear seat on one side, make a little tiny little cabinet with a little sink, almost like a camping thing that I could take in and out, where you could fit a sink in it, one of them little tiny stoves, I don't know, gotta think it out, and have it so I can take it out if I don't want it, you know. Lots and lots of plans, so much more room for activity in here. So many activities! It's making my head spin how many activities we can do. I like it, I like it so far. I like it a lot. Seems like part throttle, there's a little bit of hesitation. I have to check all the vacuum lines. As you can hear on idle, it's kind of 
maybe the bypass valves hanging up or full of carbon. I'm gonna have to go over it. See, it's like right there, it just whoop, it picked up. And you give it a little more gas and then it's like it takes off. Could be vacuum, crack vacuum line. I already top speeded this at 78 and it definitely had more. That was just touching 140 kilometers. Look at this guy. At least he didn't look, huh? Oh, there you go. Found a gas pedal, huh? You're supposed to look before you back out in traffic. Oh, do you want some? Do you want some of this micro van, do you? You don't know what you're in for. Holy slow ass. Well, looks like I need air horns in here, too. That guy's paid by the hour. Oh, now he speeds up. See, those are, these guys are idiots. Look how fast he's going now. You don't want this micro van to push that big full-size Chevy van, do you? We'll do it. You gotta love boost. Jeez, the needle didn't even move on the gas. It didn't even move. I probably would've used, uh, geez, almost a quarter of a tank on a mini truck. Took a half a tank to go to Torrington and back, roughly, maybe a little less. What's up, mini truck? <coughs> it is running better. Maybe it needs some sea foam. Wow, that is tall. That might not fit in the garage here. When I put them tires on, it's definitely not going to fit. It still has that little low idle. She good though. Turbo timer. That's pretty neat. Let her spool down. Does this have tilt wheel? No. Wow. I think it barely fits. Oh, a little bit of room. Oh, look at my plate. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. What is that? Is that a gizmo? I just call him Gizmo. He seems to like it. It's a Mogwai? You like it? Did you have your approval, Gizmo? I'm oh, normal. Kitty. What the hell? Oh. It's my door opener. You're messing with me. It needs a good bath. And some lube. That's what she said. Definitely some lube. First mod, cheesy garage on a micro van. Wonder how this paint will clean up. It's chalky. I'm gonna have to make some more stickers, especially if I'm gonna paint it. We need to talk about your flare. Really? Somebody. Definitely run up on this piece. My, uh, flare? Yeah. I'll have to go over that, too. It's got flare. All right, there's my flare, okay? I thought one of these was broken. That one. Never got to open this one. What the hell is that? They put a tire in there? They left them in there? You guys. I thought these folded totally flat. I guess they don't. Well, this ain't definitely ain't gonna be long enough for me. 
seats did fold flat. Could have definitely camped in here. Not sure the wife would want to camp in here anyway, but I know that I've seen them more like that. With all this totally flat, probably have to do it that way. to be pockets. A lot of headroom in this baby. Let's see if this is going to have to be buffed or if I could just do a quick coat of wax on this thing. Wow, this is all right, chalky. She's definitely gonna need a paint job. Definitely gonna have to go over it with some light compound. I don't know how much paint is left on it though, it's pretty thin. I think it's been painted before. Yeah, it's definitely been painted before. Well, we'll see how long we can make this last until the weather gets warm so I can paint it. Sometimes the boat stuff works really good for that. This stuff used to work really good on chalky paint like a boat. Let's see, I don't know if it's any good anymore. Got a few runs, whoever painted it. It's actually not looking terrible. Not perfect, but a lot better. I'm gonna be a while. You know the old expression, a lazy man always finds the easy way. <laughs> Dumbass. Dumbass. Different definition of spray wax. Well, better than it was, but not great. Well, you can see how thin the paint is. I wouldn't want to use anything with a lot of cutting agents in it. Coming out pretty good though. A lot better than it was. I'm waxing over it one more time. Then I'm gonna wipe the wax off. Wax on, right hand. Wax off, left hand. Wax on, wax off. Like I've said before, Almost nothing beats a hand job. Well, I really don't think we have time for a hand job, Joe. Ho, 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 ho. Well, what do you think, boys? That's a lot better. It's not perfect. It's not going to be perfect. I'll clean up the windows and be good enough. Good enough. Let's check the air cleaner on this thing. There's a lot of friggin' lines in this. Holy mackerel. Wow, that's a tiny air cleaner, huh? Really not bad. Not bad at all. Anybody write that number down? And there's a wastegate vacuum line. Wow, solid line. Who needs vice grips when you got cheese power? Should probably change that out. Man, this is something to work on. I don't think anything opens underneath the back. 
You gotta get underneath it to do the timing. Hmm. Hmm. Frame's in good shape. I didn't really get to lay under this. Don't see any oil leaks really. How the heck are you supposed to get to the distributor? Hmm. No. Well, that's a little crazy. I'm looking where that dipstick goes. Weesh. It's about due for a change. Not terrible. Hope the air conditioner works. Oh, there's a line off here. Or is that just supposed to be like that? What a rat's nest, huh? <laughs> I guess that's supposed to be open. I see no open lines anywhere. This must have a distributor. I see the coil. I don't see any coil packs. This thing's got to be on a lift to get worked on. Ooh, boy. This must be the intercooler. So this will be your new commute vehicle. <laughs> You gotta get used to the shifting points. This thing goes along pretty good, huh? Thanks, Jim and Joel. Leather key tag. I was thinking that when that other minivan went by in Gaylordsville. Well, this is a micro van. You can't call them a minivan. So what are we gonna call it? What kind is it? Atari. No. What kind of gender? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I even chose. Did you end up getting a gas cap? Yeah, I gave them a number. They got a cheap gas cap. I ordered the one that's supposed to go on it. Now this is the weird part. Watch. You shut it off and it's got a timer because it's got a turbo. So it shuts itself off in a minute. I guess I left this recording. Oh, I should have poured some of that stuff in. Popo. Burning out. There's like one part of throttle that has like maybe the throttle position sensors bad or something. Like it, it's like it's almost there's not much. A little more gaining, and all of a sudden it's like. Boom. Wow. Yeah. Why oh, that dirty? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Every time I wash something. Yep. Of course. It needed it though. This paint was so chalky. There was fingerprints all over it because anybody that ever touched it, it was just like chalky. Right. It just stuck to it. What'd she steal? <laughs> Anytime you see someone running. She doesn't have anything in her pockets. Oh, probably don't even have pockets oh, in those I, things, do I they? Don't, no, they don't. I think men make those. Just like swimwear. Skimpy little bikinis and then men have shorts. <laughs> right? Yeah. So you know the men must come up with well, the look designs. At the dresses, everything is hanging out all over. No right. sleeves. That's what and I'm the saying. Man has got a suit on. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's like, this thing makes no sense. Guess this will be my economy van. When I come from Torrington with the mini truck, and even Chris with his mini truck, he use a quarter of a tank of gas because it's only a nine gallon tank. Oh. It barely come off the full mark. What do you steal? Well, that's racist. <laughs> yeah. The other one was a white woman. I bet you I get like 35 miles a gallon with this. Mean to do that, but there's like one spot when literally the turbo kicks in because I can see the light come on. 
and it goes whoop, like boost of power. This guy was all the lights on. What a moron! We saw him before. Why do people think they can put all the out off-road running lights on down the road? This goes pretty good, though. What do you think? Yeah. The seats are much more comfortable. The other ones are kind of. Oh, we're coming up on a cop. 5-0. Now, he saw that guy with all his lights on. How come he didn't? So I'm going to take this way. Just to see how it pulls the hill. Having the sun in her eyes was a bad idea, though, huh? Yeah. This is what Bob needs for a work van. Yeah. I got to put a boost gauge. I don't know how much boost we're pushing here. Yeah, it's pulling in fifth gear even. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. It's also a way to get rid of junk TVs. Everybody likes the van so far, huh? It's just so unique. Guess I gotta put some motor cheese stickers on the back. <laughs> See the people stare. I wanna work that sea foam through, you know? I think mini trucks got a little bit more power. I mean, this has fifth gear, that so it helps the top end. So everybody's like, you gotta do the Scooby Doo van or the A Team van. I'm like, the Scooby Doo van's been overdone so many times. I'll probably go kind of with an A-Team. What do you think? The old school van is kind of like the A-Team van where it's just black. And yeah, that's more subtle. For, we're already going to stand out with the main stare at it. It's the same thing. It's black. It just doesn't have that red stripe. The red stripe is last, though, maybe. Actually, it's supposed to be black on the bottom and dark gray on the top, but it's, you can never really tell. Want to make a, a Brinks van? <laughs> pull up to the banks with our bags and get out. Yeah. Be like, what, we're legit? What are you talking about? We're here to pick up the money? That'd be funny. I wonder if you get in trouble for that. Probably. You'd have to name it something different. Chinks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't do that. No. Because it's cheese and brinks, not because it's a racial thing. Certainly I know it doesn't. Misconstrued. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it definitely doesn't sound right. Tires are here. Thanks, Robert. Let's get these put on now. There. They don't look too bad. I just don't like them sticking out so far, you know. The last rims I had did that and it just threw everything all over the side. But... They look good. Thanks again, man. Just not gonna do it, boys. What the heck? Oh well, need a lift anyway. All right, so I wanna clarify a couple things that I had wrong when I purchased the vehicle. This is not a high-low transfer case. It's an all-wheel drive, which when it's down, it's all-wheel drive. And when it's up, it locks a transfer case, so it's four-wheel drive. If you ever had a four-wheel drive and you lock the four-wheel drive in, when you make a turn, it's like the tires try to fight against each other. This has an all-wheel drive transfer case. I don't even know if it's a transfer case. But what it does is it, it almost has like an, a spool inside like an open differential so to each tire is driven separately instead of the front axle and a rear axle being driven at the same time so yeah i was wrong about that i was wondering what that switch was what that switch does is turn the rear heater on which is located right there under the seats it has its own heater core of course I just actually realized something. There's a lot of room underneath these seats for storage. If I got a little little box or something for tools. A lot of room. That's the turbo timer. That turns it on. That's how many minutes you want it to run when you shut the key off. 
and you can change that here one minute or three minutes I guess if you're heavy-duty racer you want three minutes to cool down huh and spool down cool down and spool down look at that fancy key tag I got on here now boys anyway that's the rear wiper which apparently works rear defogger and it does have running lights or did have running lights because there is no running lights I think someone changed the front bumper out air conditioning don't know if it works yet don't know how it works either yet this radio just a clock is working this radio does work, but the frequencies are not US. See anything different there? It stops where ours begins. Almost 88. I'm gonna put an Android head unit anyway. In the back seat, there's a bar that runs across the bottom here that you can lift up and push down the lock. And I guess it's for the rear passengers. It's like an O poop bar. I don't understand it, to be honest with you, because it has grab handles. There's another grab handle. And there's one over my head. So I don't understand what the purpose of this is. But all the micro vans that I've ever looked at had it. And I showed this ashtray. This. Who makes it? Marlboro. Hmm. This was in the ashtray. It does have a side door pocket. Crank handles. Material. And vinyl. Quality. There's one speaker on the driver's door. One speaker in the passenger door. Does not have a pocket on that door. It does have a dome light in the front. Oh, someone put an LED in there. I never turned that on. And it also has one in the back there. That does work. They didn't change that out to an LED. All the curtains are in decent shape, as you can see. A little tie back. It's got a bar to protect anything from hitting that side window. And a channel that runs, not all the way, but two separate channels on each the back door also has curtains there's no way to get out the back unless you pop that plug if you're stuck inside well, I'm not gonna pop it but that's supposed to be an emergency exit this does not have any side pockets but it does have a clip that I don't know what it is yet it might be yeah I guess it is it's for that which I don't know what you'd want that for either. So it don't flip forward. There's one on each side. All right, I figured out what it was. But I did notice on a couple of the vans that I looked online before I purchased this to see what options there were. It looks like sometimes they do put storage pockets in there. So I may take the one side of these off at one point and see if there's like something that you can get to put in there. That right there releases the spare tire it does have a third brake light there's your sprayer nozzle for the rear wiper as you may already know everything is an option on these cars in Japan if you want grab handles just one grab handle both grab handles whatever option you have to add it and pay for it this model may be a trim that comes with everything that you see but there are some things that are missing like the rear pockets and stuff like you can probably get another pocket for this side that keyed entry for the passenger is an option at least on the mini trucks they are you could probably get one for this and the other side if you wanted the option possibly I don't know the headlights are pretty far off on this when I tried them out last night 
This one's way in the air. That one's that one's pretty close. So this I'm gonna have to adjust. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. The radiator is up front on this. Where typically on a Daihatsu pickup, it's right in front of the motor, about two feet back. There's your sprayer. That I've never adjusted on a mini truck yet. This comes with truck style mirrors. And now I would think these mirrors would be better suited on the little mini trucks than on the vans. And then the little ones that are on a mini truck would be better on a van. Or maybe it's an upgrade. Maybe I mean, I've seen them on all of these Ataris. You can get the other one that goes right here because that pops right off. And of course, your antenna for your radio. Inside it has a cup holder and a pen holder and a coin holder and a whatever else holder you want. That looks like an option. I don't know, maybe it's not an option for this trim, but it's an option that you can get in a mini truck. Took the old radio out. It's nice to have all the wires and stuff up there. It's gonna stink when I take this off though because I'll have a little hole in my dash, but maybe I'll just leave it a little further forward or I'll put a piece of plastic across or something. No biggie. I got the 360 camera in the back and you can take a ride with Cheesy and see what it's like to ride in the back seat. You better behave back there. Cause I'll turn this micro van around. You got your seat belt on? Let's see how these tires do. I did pick up a tire pressure monitor system. Solar powered, it was cheap, like 30 something dollars. Just a novelty. So I'm hoping first gear is not going to be too high. Let's see how these tires do. I'm not going to be able to do any crazy wheeling where I got to crawl, but eh, it should, should still be pretty good. Hopefully. It's either that or I got to go fast. I just can't crawl. So I got to keep the speed up now. I don't have much clearance, so I don't want to rip off my skirting. Then we'll do a road test. Apparently these got the flat spots like the other tires. And there's so much knob, you can feel the sway. They had a little slight cupping when I first got them, so. I don't know how fast I'm going. I'm going to have to get a GPS popped up on my phone. Definitely not as smooth as the stock tires, which I already knew. I might want to try to balance these tires again. So 80 is about 50. The tires did take a little power away. Ooh, almost hit that pheasant. We gotta put a few miles on these, see if I can wear the scallops back to kind of normal. It's a little squirrely with them big knobbies. Once you get used to it, it's fine. It's like that with anything. With big knobbies. That's what she said. Notice my wheel is straight now. Huh. I did have one different tire. I wonder if it was a different size. Not too bad. I think one or two of these wheels might be a little off balance, but it's not bad. You guys did good. See what I mean? It just throws everything all over the side. I mean, I could take those tires and put them on those narrow rims like I did with all the rest of them, I suppose. That is an option. Got my cell phone holder hooked up. Not only is a cell phone holder, 
it's a cup holder and I have one of these in my Jeep and they work really really good so now just waiting for my Android radio to go right here I moved the tire monitoring thing over here for now and this is made for the Jeep so this usually has a bracket in the back here that goes down that you hook to the grab bar so I just cut that off and put three holes I screwed it down there it's a good spot for it because it's already angled right I was gonna put it here but then it would block the radio I think that's it until next time boys maybe you can hire the M team hey don't forget to like comment and subscribe we'd love to hear what you have to say hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos links for products to use are in the description and on motocheese.com thanks for watching